good weather today, but I'm feeling way better than I did yesterday, and I did not want to come on camera today because my eyes and my nose is runny and red. Y'all don't want to see all that. Anyways, today I want to talk about a situation that happened a while back. Um, basically, the situation was I was talking to this guy, you know, and he wanted to meet me. And I was like, okay, sure, I would love to meet you, you know. He sounded really cute and all, and, you know, he wanted to have his first experience with someone like me. And, you know, he was loving the way I looked through my pictures and stuff that I think he saw on my Facebook page. I don't remember. But anyway, so he came by and, um, you know, we were talking. And then he said to me he was getting married the next day. And I was like, okay, like, why are you here? You know, it's like, I want to have my first experience, with, you know, some, I want to do it all before I get married. I want to try being bottom for the first time. And, and the whole time he's talking to me, he was tipsy, like really tipsy, almost drunk. You know, I could smell the alcohol on his breath. And, you know, we were talking so he's like, I want to try being bottom. You know, I never tried it before. I want to try being with someone like you, you know, before I get married. And I'm like, okay. So, you know, I said to him, the first thing you need to do is, well, I should have told him the first thing he needed to do was to douche. But, you know, he was really, 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 really hot, you know, blonde, tall, eight pack, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I wasn't thinking about that. You know, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, I was like really in the mood and, you know, he was like so hot. So I'm like, okay, you know, um, okay, sure. So I said to him, the first thing you need to do is to relax because it's never going to work if you're not relaxed because, you know, I got a, I got a good, thick, big size. So he's like, okay. So I, I started to calm him down and I said, I know you're tipsy and you know, because he was falling all over the place. So I said, relax, relax. So I started, you know, before I got it in, I made sure there was lots of lube, condoms, stuff like that. And I said, while it's going in, I said, just relax, just relax, just relax. And it's going in slowly. And I'm thinking this boy was going to be like, you know, like the other ones, like, oh, stop, stop, stop. It's hurt and it's hurt. This guy, now he was pretty tired, I must say. Let me tell you. This guy was like, don't take it easy. Go hard. Just, you know, and I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, just. And so I'm like, okay, are you sure? He's like, yeah, just. And I'm like thinking in my head, well, it's your first time. Don't you want to take it easy? I don't know if it was the alcohol talking or what, but I'm like, okay. So I'm like, okay, you know, start going harder and faster and, you know, He's like, harder, faster. And I'm like, okay, you know, and I'm going the hardest and fast as I can. So it's like, okay, let's switch positions. So I'm laying down and he comes on top of me. This boy, let me tell you, this boy, he looked like he was like 23, whatever. This guy was like riding my dick like a porn star. Okay, like. You know, let me back up for a little. It did take a, a, a you know, a little time to get it in because he was pretty, really, really tired. And um, there was a mishap. There was a little bit of mishap because, you know, if you don't do, you know, and um, I overlooked it because it wasn't really, it was just a slight little, you know, it wasn't like bad, bad mess. It was just a little. You know, and it wasn't like smelling bad or anything like that. And it was just a little. So I overlooked that. And besides, he was so gorgeous and I was so in the mood. Anyway, so he gets on my dick and this guy was like riding it like a porn star. Like just, you know, he was just going like a porn star, like just riding like he, you know, like one of them. You know, like, you know, one of them, like, cowgirls or cowboys just riding one of them little, what do you call them, those little cow things that they have at the bars. And he was just like, I was like, wow. 
at one point, his girlfriend, or his, sorry, his future wife called while he was riding me. And he's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because his phone started to ring. He gets off me, gets off my desk, goes into the bathroom, closes the door. And, you know, he's talking to her. He comes back out. He's like, oh, I don't know if I can do it, continue doing it. And I guess the guilt starts kicking in now. Like, and I'm like, great, I'm, I'm still so horny and I haven't even come yet. And so I'm like trying to convince him, no, come on, just a little longer, you know, because I'm feeling the mood and I just need to release something. So, you know, like he's laying down and he's like, you know, tipsy and falling. And, and I'm like, come on, come on, come on. You want just want to do it a little. So he's like, okay. And so I said, you know what? It's not going to take much longer. You know, just let me till I come. And, you know, so I bent him over. And I'm telling you, this boy is, mm, his butt is ooh, solid, you know, like so firm and stuff. I could see he really works out and stuff. So I bent him over. And I kept on going and going and going. And, you know, he he was just like, I don't know if he was like, you know, falling asleep or what, because he was so tipsy. So I'm like, you know, and this boy was so relaxed and stuff. And I didn't stop until, you know, I released and stuff. And then after, you know, he just fell over on my bed and was tired and, you know. And he was, you know, feeling a guilty because he's getting married in the next day. And, and then after I did kind of feel like, well you know, kind of did take advantage of the situation. Like, you know, I could have said, you know what, maybe you should go home and, you know, not do this right now. But, you know, I was, he was so hot and I was so horny and stuff like that. And, you know, he was like, I said, I enjoyed it and stuff. And I'm, I asked him like, you know, I, you know, he's like, he couldn't even answer what I was asking him. Cause he was just so gone. Like, you know, I don't know what he was drinking. I guess he wanted some liquid courage to go through with it. And let me tell you guys, don't drink before you have fun because that is not the way to go, you know? And I know a lot of guys that I've seen before have done that. Like, you know, they're so nervous that they think if they drink, it would, you know, not make them nervous. In this case, it did not make him nervous, but it doesn't always work, you know, and you know, there is, it's, you know, I have a feeling, you know, I could be wrong, but I have a feeling that was, you know, yes, his, you know, he was really, 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 really tight, but that doesn't really mean anything. He could have had something really, really small before, but the way he was riding and no pain, he didn't, you know, maybe it was the alcohol. I don't drink. I don't know. I've never been drunk in my life to, you know, know what being on alcohol feels like, but that was like, wow, I, I, you know, I'm, I feel, I feel kind of bad for the poor wife because, you know, I'm, I can, you know, like you find out like the day before your wedding, your husband or, you know, choose, you know, like when and, you know, bottom, like, you know, it was just like, you know, and I started thinking, wow, you know, and he's not the first guy that did that. I'm pretty sure. And, he will never be the last guy to like, but a day before your wedding, like, you know, like, and I don't know how many guys, you know, hooked up with like another guy or a transgendered person a day before they, that was the first time that has ever happened. Like I hooked up with like straight guys before who's married or have girlfriends and stuff, but never someone who wanted to hook up a day before their wedding, you know, and I really had a good time. Like it was, you know, oh my God. I still remember, like, like it was yesterday. It, he felt so good inside. I ain't gonna lie. He felt so good inside. Like, it was just like, oh, my goodness, you know, like, breaking him in felt really, really, really good. Like, you know, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> you know, and he was hot and, you know, I never saw him again. So I don't know whatever became of him and his wife and stuff. I just, he wanted something he wanted to get out of his system before he got married. You know, I, I don't know if he continued to do that because I never saw him again, but, 
you know, he was a young guy. He was like 23. I think he was like 23 and stuff, which I think no one should get married at that age. But, you know, that's a whole nother story. But, you know, it's there's so many guys out there, you know, that are so on the down low and, you know, who want to do this, you know, who live two lives like, you know, like have their girlfriend, their wives or whatever, and they have a boyfriend or they hook up with another guy or another transgender or a transgender person. And it's like, you know, the two worlds are so different. Like I've been with guys who, you know, have girlfriends, wives and live like, you know, like nothing's going on. And, you know, and I'll be with them and their girlfriend or their wives calling them. And I'm like sitting there like, you know, like they're like, Shh, don't say nothing. I'd be like, oh, yeah, baby, you know, yeah, I'm coming, I'm, you know, I'm coming, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving right now, I'm leaving my friend's house, you know, and I'm like, wow, you know, but it was a wonderful, it was a, it was a, you know, it was, it's a, it was a hot night, really good, and I really enjoyed it, and, you know, I'm pretty sure he did too, even though he was kind, like, he was really tipsy, like, you know, and it impressed me that he handled my, he handled me really well. Like, you know, some people, I, get, I don't know if it's the alcohol that ma- was made him able to take it, you know, because most guys, like, you know, they're like, when I'm talking to them, they're like, oh, ouch, oh my God, 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 it hurts, oh my God, stop, 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 it hurts, it hurts. But he, I'm telling you, this but was, the harder I was going, the faster I was going, the more he wanted it was, oh my God, it was a hot, hot experience, you know, and I hope he remembers, you know, because the way he was so tipsy and stuff and falling, you know, and, oh, but, um, you know, I, I hope things work out for him and his wife and stuff like that, and, you know, but I just wanted to share my experience with you guys, you know, what happened not too long ago with this guy getting, getting married a day before his wedding. You know, thank you so much for listening to what I have to say. Please don't forget to leave me a comment, to rate my videos. And, you know, for all the newcomers that are watching my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my videos. Thank you so much. I'm going to go drink some water, you know, have some orange juice, then lay back down. And hopefully I'll feel 100% better tomorrow, even though I do feel a little bit better today than I did yesterday. You know, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Love you guys.